Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm going to teach you how to use Google Translate's camera translation. Now I have a feeling that most of you are familiar with Google Translate, so it lets you easily translate different languages. Now the most popular way to use Google Translate is using text translation, but sometimes it's really difficult to use text translation if you want to easily translate something fast. Or, you might not be able to memorize the different characters in different languages, and you'll probably have a hard time typing them in. So that's where camera translation comes in. You can easily translate things using your phone's camera. So for example, this box is in a different language. So if I were to use Google Translate's text translation, I would have a hard time typing it in. And plus, you'd have to use a different keyboard in the same language as this text to be able to type it on your phone. So using camera translation makes everything way easier. So here's how. So first, download the Google Translate app if you haven't already. And the Google Translate app works on iOS or Android devices. Then, tap on the camera button. And at the bottom, you should see three tabs. There's the Instant tab, which lets you translate instantly. The Scan tab, which scans first, then translates. And the Import tab, which lets you import your own image to translate. So for this video, I'm going to use the scan mode so I can bring my phone near to the camera and show you the translation. But the instant mode works just the same. You just need to hold your phone steady in front of the object that you want to translate. So I can take a picture of this box and then it's going to scan it and I can select which text to translate. Now the text on the top here looks like a different language compared to the one at the bottom. So I'm only going to select the ones here at the bottom. Alright, we're just going to select all of this. And then, we have a translation. So to view translation, tap on this arrow. And now, we can see that the original language is Russian. So from Russian, it translated it into English. And that translation is really accurate. If you want, you can pause the video and compare it to the original English version. So the translated version is over here on my phone, and the English version is here in the box. Now there are a lot of other practical uses for Google Translate. For example, my Mi Smart Band 5 only came with a Chinese instruction manual. So since I can't understand Chinese and I only speak English, I can easily use Google Translate to figure out what it says. Now the manual of the newer Mi Smart Band 6 comes with a lot of different languages. So now, let's test Google Translate and see if it can translate a lot of them accurately. So that we can see if Google Translate is translating it accurately, I'm going to get another Mi Smart Band 6 manual so we can compare the English version to the different languages and see if the translation matches. Okay, so this is what the English Mi Smart Band 6 manual looks like. So this is the first page and we're going to go to the same page with a different language. So let's just get a random language. Alright. We got this language over here, and we're going to use Google Translate and see if it matches the English version. So this time, I use the scan again, so it's easier to show to the camera. So I scan this page, and now we're going to see if the results are similar to the English one. So since it's a lot of text, I'm only going to translate these parts. So let's see if it's similar. So as you can see, Google Translate did a really good job, since the text is exactly the same. But the disadvantage of using the scan is that you cannot see it in the picture. So it just appears as a paragraph of text. So now, I don't know which parts are being described in the translation. So next, we're going to use the instant translation. So I'm going to hold my phone over here and let's see if it translates it accurately. So it's loading. I can see touch screen, heart rate sensor, fitness tracker, strap, and charging cable. So it looks like it's really accurate. You just need to hold your phone really steady. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more. And to help support my channel. And thanks for watching.